Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from azurautomation.com and today in this video we are going to see how we can use the latest version of Windows 10 Insider Preview Build which has the x64 emulation as well. If you remember in our earlier video while we were trying to run the docker for Windows, we were getting an error in the Windows itself. So you can see that the build currently I am using in the Windows 10 is build 20231. So what happens if I try to run the uh, docker so I think I have already downloaded the uh, docker in my windows and if I go to the docker you can see that it's a docker installer if I try to run this you can see that it gives me an error saying the application has failed to start because of its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect please see the application event log because this is not an 64-bit uh, uh, machine and also if I try to run an uh, Camtasia then it will also give me an error because it is not an 64-bit uh, operating system. So I guess if I try to install the 64-bit emulation, the Camtasia will definitely run, but I guess the Docker desktop will also run on the same nodes. So if you can see here on the release page of this announcing Windows Insider Preview build 21277, you can see that they have introduced the x64 emulation of ARM64 devices to Windows 10 Insider of the dev channel starting from this build. So the build which I have at the moment is kind of old build as you can see over here. So all I'm going to do is I am just going to install the latest version of the build. So I have already enrolled myself as the Insider Preview program and the current channel is the PR channel. I'm going to change this to dev channel because uh, dev channel will have uh, the latest build which I'm looking for and then if I go to the Windows updates and if I check for the Windows update you can see that I get the latest and the greatest version which is 20279 so this is the uh, better version uh, which it has so I think I can download and uh, install that you can see that it is currently downloading and installing the 212277 uh, 7. I think that's the better option to go with so I'm just going to download the whole version right now over here and I will install this particular build and we'll see how we could able to run the 64-bit softwares on an emulation in Windows 10 ARM OS so once the installation or the download is fully done I'll be back all right so as you can see the installation is fully done and i'm gonna restart my windows 10 which is running on the parallels desktop right now so we'll see what's gonna happen all right so now you can see that we are using the build number 21277 as you can see in the evaluation copy over here so seems like there is going to be some sort of uh, a parallels tools installation agent coming through over here uh, doing at the moment because it says reinstalling parallels tools um, which i'm not sure because i'm not doing anything at the moment i think parallels desktop is doing it by itself uh, on this particular operating system because this is a new operating system altogether and it has to be reinstalled as well i think that's the reason it's doing it for us so maybe i'm just going to restart this operating system so that it will seamlessly work without any problem and let me make this as full screen as well so now that we have windows 10 with the full uh, version that we are looking for like the 64-bit supporting versions uh, which has the emulation for us so now i'm just going to go to my uh, downloads and i'm going to install the docker desktop uh, installer so earlier we saw there were uh, issues coming up but now i don't expect the issues to be coming up over here oops i see that something happened and there you go you can see that the installer is now coming up for us which is pretty awesome so now this Docker desktop is actually going to run on the emulation, on the top of the emulation at the moment. So you know that Parallels desktop is actually emulating the operating system, like the Windows 10 operating system on the top of it. And now you can see that the Windows 10 ARM operating system is also doing an emulation to run the 64-bit applications for us, which is pretty cool. So you can see that the Docker desktop is now being installed on this particular operating system, which is quite good. So 
this is what I couldn't able to see in our earlier build of Windows 10 with ARM operating system because it was throwing us an issue. And now I'm definitely sure that the Docker desktop, which was not running at all in our earlier build is now running fine without any problem, which is quite good. And I'm pretty excited to see that so that I can use my Windows container on this particular Windows. This is one of the important good news that we have got. And then I'm also gonna install Camtasia once the installation of Docker desktop is fully done. All right, so as you can see that the Docker installation is fully done and once I do a close and restart, the Docker desktop is gonna be installed, I guess. So this is pretty cool, I could able to see that the 64-bit softwares could able to run with the latest version of Windows 10 ARM-based operating system using emulations, which is awesome. So this proves the point that this guy is currently working fine without any problem to run a 64-bit applications. The last try that I have is to install a Camtasia on the Windows 10 operating system, which is gonna run on the 64-bit prop emulation on the windows 10 that's one of the major thing that i need to see so i will quickly see that alone if the installation is going to happen and that way we can conclude that the whole 64-bit experience of all the installation of applications happening here as well without any problem so this is pretty cool and pretty exciting in our next video i'll quickly jump into or maybe dive into all those 64-bit applications like how they behave while they run because it's running on the uh, emulation layer so we also need to make sure that the, they are going to work fine or not but you can see that now the camtasia is actually installing it was not working fine before and it is actually installing and you can see that the Docker desktop is complaining us that there is a bad format exception. So it says that I uh, could not load the assembly of Microsoft management uh, infrastructure at native, which is quite bad. And there is a crash report coming up over here, which is not that great. So I can just probably quit that. And you can see that close the following application before installing. So I'm just gonna hit this guy. I guess it's because of the installation of Camtasia. There was some problem with the Docker. So I should have waited uh, before the Docker desktop was fully up. Um, that's the reason maybe it's throwing us an error because they both use uh, the .NET heavily. So I could see that the installation of Camtasia is done, but there is an error. It says that uh, it needs to register a DLL. So I'm just gonna say yes for the admin privilege. Yeah, let's try to run Camtasia once again. Maybe I'm messing up something while the Docker is opening up. I don't see Camtasia coming yet. It seems to be running behind the scene, but it has not opened the Camtasia for me yet anywhere. Maybe I need to end the task. Hmm. The experience is not that great, I'd say, I would say. Uh, I said yes, but still not working. Maybe I need to run this guy in an administrator mode. I'm not sure about that. No, it's not working as great as I probably expect. But let's see what's going on with the Docker desktop. So I'm just gonna open the Docker desktop, not the Mac, but the Windows one. And you can see that we get the crash report exception here. So there is something going on wrong with the uh, opening of these applications on the emulation mode, but still it is installing. <laughs> That's what I could say. We'll probably wait for some more updates coming up from these applications to run on this uh, Windows 10. We'll see how it works. Catch you in the next one. Put your comments below and see what you expect to see in our next video. Thank you.